Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. I'll give you my opinion and we'll jump right in. So here we go, let's, start, let's do it. Uh, we get the dollar here, dollar's continuing to go higher on a relative basis. Uh, we have broken out of this resistance area. We are hitting this next resistance area uh, of a trend line coming on up and we'll see where we're going, but this does look pretty strong for the dollar and a continued outperformance. Uh, the 10 year yield continues to move higher up 1.78%. This is on a monthly candlestick, uh, a clear break from what I can tell to the upside. We've got the one year, uh, which is the daily candlesticks. Daily candlesticks are continuing to move higher. Uh, the, with this, we've got gold going lower. Uh, it's down about $30 a, an ounce. We had the little wick yesterday at the top. This is our pullback today. We could pull back a little bit further. Uh, maybe we even come down in this range. If we come down to this range, I would be looking at adding into shares, adding into shares. And then we got silver. Silver also pulling back today. Again, it's following gold. Uh, we are right below its support line. We'll see if this support starts to put a little bit of stoppage to this move here tomorrow. Maybe we get an up day and we stick around this line here, uh, kind of as it oscillates back and forth around it. The next major support area is down here at the 2450 range. Platinum, another one that's getting sold off today. Uh, it sold off a little bit less than gold. Again, it's a pretty strong sell off. We've got the declining wedge. And if we come back here, we've got the breakout. If we come back here, I'm going to be doing some more buying in physical platinum. I am going to load up. Why? Because that's what I do. That is what I've learned to be successful is breakout, retest, and I always do the retest. It's, I don't know. It's just something I've learned over the years that works well for me. Uh, XAU to gold ratio. Uh, we're still within the pattern. Oh, no, no, no. We're like, <laughs> this was gapped lower and then it was fighting its way up. I didn't even see this down here. It was fighting its way up. It's almost as if someone's trying to manipulate this lower uh, because the way that this looks, this was ready to break to the upside. And it's like someone took a hammer and shot this back down. And the reason I say that is this is the CRB index. This thing was rolling higher too. I didn't see any contraction in the candlesticks from the opening and closing prices. And it just got hammered lower out of nowhere. I don't usually see that that often, but you know, whatever it is, we, again, we could come back to this, do a retest uh, for all these, <clears throat> but buyers are there. They were buying it up throughout the day. It just got hammered pre-market lower. It, that's what we gapped lower pre-market. Uh, looking at the companies themselves, uh, they don't look too far. You know, they're not too bad. We have a little bit, you know, a little bit of a sell-off here. It doesn't look that bad for Corona Resources. Uh, EXK, a little bit. A little bit more to the downside. Looks like we're running into a little bit of resistance through here. Uh, we came up and hit it. Maybe it's going to do a cup and handle pattern, which then looks something like this. Uh, that's what a cup and handle looks like. Uh, we'll see what, what that does. Uh, FSM, another one. Again, I, I do like being above these big patterns. Uh, that is very positive. We have a bull bullish engulfing there, bullish engulfing there, bullish engulfing there. Uh, we went high. <clears throat> higher and now we're just getting a little bit of a pullback so we're still in pullback mode i'd like to see the buyer step in first before adding anything uh again we're, we're pulling back here to the downside for sil j back within this channel gdx another one that's pulling back a little bit doesn't look horrible again we're sitting on top of these big patterns uh which is good so we keep we, we, we busted through here and we might pull back a little bit uh mmngf Looks like we're getting a little bit of selling pressure here. That is a bearish engulfing. Uh, this guy's just been moving sideways for a pretty long time I, uh, anyway. Uh, we had a slight, slight uptrend here. And we're still within that pattern. Uh, Koya Resources getting a little bit of buying pressure. Find a little bit of buying support in this general vicinity down here. Another small silver player. Discovery Silver tried breaking out. Came back within the pattern. This is coiling up. Uh, if you like Discovery Silver, you're probably in a spot that looks pretty good. 
First Majestic selling off a little bit more. Uh, like I said yesterday, we got this bearish engulfing. We're probably going to head lower in the short term. We are heading lower, and we'll see where we end and find support. We're just looking for support at this point. Uh, but again, we are above the, 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 the downtrend line break. Everything looks good. We, we rolled up higher. We're just getting a pullback. Uh, Newmont get, is experiencing that pullback. I do think that we could come back lower um, to the downside. This is a rising wedge. When it, whenever they squeeze up, they usually break to the downside for a short-term pullback. Uh, Mag Silver getting a little bit of a short-term pullback with this bearish engulfing yesterday. Like I said, getting a little bit of a pullback. We'll see how far it pulls back and if the buyers uh, come in here and start buying. Yamana Gold didn't want anything to do with it. Looks like the buyers stepped in and, and, and are holding this one higher. Impact Silver pulling back a little bit. Still looks fine. Uh, Aftermath Silver still within its channel. Just bouncing and ping-ponging back and forth between it. Arcana Silver is still looking quite good. It's real low down here. Uh, if you guys want to get a little bit jiggy with it, you know, this is the time to do it. Uh, it's all the way down here. PLG, Platinum Group Metals. Again, we, we've... Let me do a little sum sum here, guys. This is this is this is uh, embarrassing to have it be this nasty. Uh, if you were to if you were to go, I'm going to go off where the closing prices are. Uh, it's it's something on the lines of this. Kind of a breakout. We might do a little retest down here, and then hopefully a move higher. Uh, Simony Eyes Stillwater. Again, this thing's just kind of working its way lower at the moment. Looking at the royalty companies, sand, uh, we are in pullback mode. We hit our head on this uh, resistance line, and we're just pulling back a little bit. We have support underneath it here. Uh, we've got some, let me see here. Looks like there's like a support area here too that, uh, that we're kind of falling out of. But we'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Franco, Nevada, still above its big old pattern. This is what it looks like. I uh, get a little bit of selling pressure here recently. That's that little guy here. And I like that we're above it. It'd be a buying opportunity if we come into a retest back to that breakout. EMX, another one that's just playing. It's playing with its uh, resistance line, downtrend line. Has not broken yet. Uh, Tootin Resources just moving sideways. We have Wheat and Precious Metals. Again, that's broken out. And we're still looking pretty good up here. Uh, so that one looks good. Gold Royalty. Oh, wow. Looks actually looks really good. Apparently, Gold Royalty does opposite of what the majority of them do. Be a good diversifier if you want to diversify. Within the sector, at least. Uh, Metallo Royalty. Yeah, small down day. Nothing really to worry about there. MMX, a little bit larger down day. Sitting on top of its pattern. We've got Royal Gold. This thing's been an absolute winner here. Get a little bit of a pullback. Again, it's been pretty small. Uh, Cisco Gold Royalty sitting on top of its breakout area. Again, if we if we pull on back here in this general vicinity, uh, I do think that it would be a good good little area to be looking at purchasing. And then we've got uh, Altius Minerals. Yeah, I know it's not a precious metal. It's a different royalty company, but this thing's broken out of its of its pattern. Still looking really good. So. We've got a little bit more selling pressure today. What am I going to do? Am I going to panic and sell everything I got and run for the hills and buy ammo? No, I'm not going to do anything, guys. You know me. Uh, I'm pretty re relaxed when it comes to this stuff. I'm, I'm like immune to this. And uh, if anything, I'm getting really excited if, if Platinum comes back down again. <laughs> um, I've been loading into it here recently. Uh, it's been quite fun because I haven't bought physical in a long time. You know, I, I didn't buy it for like some months and months and months. And uh, Platinum came on back and I'm like, oh, I'm going to start buying again. And uh, I'm starting to see Platinum come back down again. And I'm like, well, if it gets in the 900s again, I'm, I'm game on. I'm going to buy some more ounces. Why not? And uh, if it does that, it's exactly what I'll do. It's exactly what I will do. And, uh, you know, I don't, I own some of the royalty companies. I don't own a lot of the mining companies. Uh, I do own some. I own some of the exploration ones, you know. I own I, I own EXK and AG and uh, Discovery Silver. I, it's mainly all the silver stuff, and I haven't done much with it. I haven't done much with it. So 
I'm just kind of waiting. I I prefer to buy the physical. I don't know why I just do. And uh, everything looks good, guys. We're we're above the patterns. They're just getting a pullback. Uh, I'll let you know when this stuff starts starts to turn around. Uh, so definitely subscribe if you guys want to know when this turns around. I'll, I'll let you know my opinion at least. Uh, I'll let you know you know when I'm buying. If you're interested in uh, subscribing to the website, platinum membership gets you the companies I'm buying right now. Uh, I could tell you I'm buying right now in certain sectors. And today I even released what I was buying in one of the sectors to the platinum members. Uh, they got it real time. So I bought it uh, right when I was releasing, I was buying it. So I bought it today and I released it today all in one shot. Uh, and also we do weekly uh, scheduled Zoom meetings, question and answer Zoom meetings. Uh, I let everyone know the companies I'm buying, uh, what I'm overweighted in and stuff like that. And I think they have, there's a huge leg up in, in joining as a platinum member, knowing that information real time of what I'm doing. So, and what I'm overweighting, because I'm buying like heck in some of these right now. All right, guys, uh, we'll catch you later. This is Finding Value.